Friends, it's Curtis Robinson operating Kudo. And Kudo is the archer build for the Samurai class. Um, we're about to go and get the best Ash of War for fighting huge creatures. It's called the Reign of Arrows. I'm going to tell you, I've done this a couple times. It's never easy. And the first thing I do is run past this dragon, which is not a whole lot of fun. And oh boy, is definitely not happy with me. Alright, we did that successfully. Yay! Okay. Not too bad, right? <clears throat> I wish that there was a um, I wish that there was a better way to do this. But you gotta get over here in Kaled by this earth tree. Um, I would like to go ahead and kill this earth tree avatar. Can I do that? I know I can. I mean, I've got plenty of arrows. It's going to really give me a major rune boost. Um, probably not going to do crap for damage. But I did get the new... Uh, I got long range and I got the new um, sting talisman. It's going to take me every arrow I have, I bet. fall so we have to be careful. The environment is not friendly here. So again this is my Genghis Khan Mongol warrior kind of uh, uh, light cavalry system. So again this was also a famous Attila the Hun kind of a strategy. Attila was famous for Riding on horseback and firing arrows. By the way, the American Indians of North, of North America, these uh, Native Americans here, man, the Cheyenne and the Apache were great at riding on horseback, mounted uh, archery. They did a super good job. I will say that this is just a game, it's not real life. But in real life, those guys could do it, man. They were serious. Well, I'm not sure about all of the ones that were in the more densely wooded areas. But I will say that the Plains Indians, again, the uh, Cheyenne and the Apache were really great. I'm trying to think who else was particularly good. I guess all of them in some way, shape, or form, if they had horses, were probably good at fighting from horseback. I would be. I'd spend all the time I could on this, but the alternative is your infantry, right? Oh, he got zapped. Did you guys see his life go down? He got hit by the lightning bolt. Ha! Fortuitous, right? Let's lead him back over there and so I can get him zapped again. Of course, I'm liable to get zapped. Don't get too greedy. Two shots, maybe three is pretty good. Any more than that, and you tend to start making mistakes. Remember that you got to manage your stamina, which is why I shoot and kind of walk away. Sometimes I do a little run. Let's slip around here. I'm also using the road, this road right here, kind of as my guide. If I stay on the road, I don't stray too far to the right or to the left. circle to avoid all of the magic attacks. Alright. This is not a perfect system, by the way. You can smack me if I get careless, but this system works. Oh 
Oops. Man, I'm really stuck. And now I'm dead. Dang it. Got hooked up. Got stuck on this thing. And, uh, <laughs> got stuck on a jug. So again, this is super difficult, guys. I'm telling you, just, I want to say this thing is basically, you can't have mistakes. I'm going to go ahead and leave that death on there so you guys can see that it's not that I'm such an amazing player. It's that my strategy, my tactics are pretty good. Hey, this is Curtis. Hello. Hey, buddy, what's up? Hey, uh, I'm calling just to let you know. Uh, me and my dad was out here firing the fire around out and like, trying it out. And every time I fire one shot out, it keeps getting jammed. Like the bullet's not coming out. Okay, yeah, no problem. Bring it by there. Uh, the new firearm, by the way, might very well be... Uh, did you clean it before you went out and shot it, or you shot it right out of the box? Nah, I cleaned it. I made sure. All right, we'll bring it up. Let's take a look at it. Yes, sir, I will. All right, thanks. All right, no problem. All right. Apparently we have a client, they just bought firearms, have some difficulty. Sometimes that happens. Most firearms are really, really reliable. Uh, not all. All right, we're back to this. Let's get this guy back underway. All right, so to avoid the problems I had last time, let's see if we can get him. Golly. I must have right been perfectly in his range. Or he hit my horse. I didn't even take any damage. Right, guys. Sometimes that one. Let's try to get him to clear away some of this rubbish. Right, get him to break through these jugs, these big pots. If they're broken, I won't tend to freaking get stuck on them. And the trees too. Why not? Let's get all of them. Especially getting to break that one. That's the one I got stuck on last time. As you can tell by my rooms there. Thank you for breaking that for me, sir. Let's get past these guys here. Four shots. See how he likes fire. Fire arrow, a little bit more damage. Four shots. All right, I'm back to regular arrows now. Get him back over here. Maybe I'll get lucky and he'll get zapped by the lightning. Dang, that's a big stinking weapon to be hit by. He freaking nailed me and just destroyed the last time. Getting right over here. Kind of big, maybe he'll attract. It's like a giant tree. He should definitely be attracting some freaking lightning bolts, I'm just saying. It seems like the chances are random and unlikely. Let's sit back around. Oh, by the freaking jars again.
So Torrent, our horse, is um, is pretty good, but if you give him a, hey, do this immediately kind of a command, he may or may not do it. He may pause, like some days I'll be playing and he's doing pretty much what I'm asking him to do, and then like there's an emergency, like, oh, I really need you to quickly move or do something. And he does something weird. I don't know if the game is just set up that way or I pushed the button and was stuck in animation. It could be any number of things. But what I will tell you is, it sucks if your horse doesn't do exactly what you want him to do. It bites. So by the way, I'm probably going to get a crap ton of experience for this guy. If you happen to have a gold foul foot, Gold pickle foul foot, you want to use it. Right before. Well, I think it lasts three minutes. So if you got a forever battle kind of like this one, don't use it in the beginning. Let's look around here, make a full circle. Shock him. Sure there's a way, probably some YouTuber has done some sort of little study and figured out how to zap this guy with the lightning. Like a zero hit win where the lightning just kills, kills him all by itself. I don't know how to do that. Oh, I'm close. Got in his range for sure. Sliding back down the hill a bit. Alright, circle out. I got about 50%. I think that's where I had him last time before I died so freaking pitifully. Close. doubling up. When he does a double shot, you just gotta keep circling. It's not a big deal, but if you're not paying attention, there's a slight variation in the program that makes him tricky. Start relying on predictability, which is what got me killed last time. I wasn't careful. Too busy monologuing, I think. That's close. Glad you didn't take a swing at me. <laughs> Oops. I thought I got off the world. <laughs> I jump scared myself a little bit there. So I guess you guys can see how important a little speed is when you're fighting this guy. And I got that bound to happen. I 
Now again, if you got some fire plots, they do really good because he's wood. He does not like fire. That's why I shot all those fire arrows at him. arrows left. I'm not going to make it. Man, my life sucks. Again, this is why you have a backup plan with some backup arrows. And I just had, you know, I just haven't had the uh, the runes to do it. I should have lost up. The thing is, it's not like I'm missing a whole lot either. This guy's just crazy tough and I'm not doing much damage. So I get to go to the sword here in 21 shots. <laughs> this is going to be pretty awful. Use every stinking arrow I have. Way, sir, come to the lightning. One shot left. Looks. All right, we gotta figure something out here. Come on, shock him. Shock him, shock him, shock him. Come on, right here.
Come on. Come get me. Lightning all around and I get I don't even get a break. <sighs> Not much I can do. I don't have anything else I can use. Ah, I've got these. This will be hilarious. I did not notice he was shooting at me. This is ridiculous. I'm going to now attempt to hit him with some darts. And can I craft anything? Nope. Oh, I got eight pots? Let's do that. I may have just saved myself here. You have to be a little bit closer, but that's probably close enough. The fire pot saved me. I don't make a stupid mistake and get smoked. Oh, that is awesome. And look at this. 100, what are you? 100,000, 60,000. Give me something good. And 91,000. I'll take it. Sweet. Can you believe it? All right, friends. Not too bad, right? Okie doke. Um, all right. I'll go to Fort Farrell. I'll, I'll top off, and then we'll just go ahead and start trying to get that. Uh, we'll try to get that um, Ash of War, which is the main thing I was trying to.